What's up OGs? Welcome back and if you're new here, welcome tonight. I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions for my Q&A. I had you guys ask me some questions on my Instagram at the OG420. Go follow me if you haven't already, but um, I already picked out all the questions. I screenshotted them. I have them in my photo gallery, so I'm going to answer those questions for you guys. Before I do that, I'm going to light up this blunt. I got like a gram and a half rolled up in this uh, Swisher Sweet. I know there's going to be a lot of people hating on the Swisher Sweet. A lot of people hate on them. I think it's almost like a trend to hate on them. Like, they're definitely not my favorite blunt wraps. So I don't know why so many people don't like them. And then I got like .2 of some oil wrapped around that. I believe, what strain was it? I think it was blackjack actually blackjack. I almost forgot But yeah, I'm gonna light up this blunt. I haven't smoked a solo blunt to the face in a while on the channel, so Thought thought I would do it for this cue a day actually rolled it up this morning and uh, It's probably been like 12 13 hours since I've uh, it's been sitting around there. That's what I meant. Perfect. I got this dabber to to melt the wax a little down. That's what you gotta do when you have twax joints. You gotta even it out throughout the blunt, or else, or the joint, whatever you're using, or else it'll just glob up. I'll show you guys what I'm working with right now. I just dropped it, but it's all good. Focus change. So you can see the wax is like melting there, right there perfectly. I just smeared it in there. Alright. Focus. Let's answer some questions now. So, first question kind of a basic question. Favorite strain? A lot of you guys probably already know this. Um, any type of really good cookie strain that tends to be my favorite. I've had lots of different cookie strains, and basically, if it's properly grown, most most of them are very similar. But cookies, really like OGs as well, and like Gorilla Glue. That's one of my favorites too. But if it had to be number one, cookies. And next question is the first question came from Louis underscore Tremarco. I'm gonna say your guys' names. Why not? Next question is from Josh Doc underscore underscore, and he said, "For the Q and A, have you tried any other drugs except from cannabis, and what were they?" So technically, the only other drugs I've taken, I've never actually been drunk still to this day, which is crazy. Um, about two months ago, when uh, LOL Poddington came into town, I took like a couple shots, and I felt a little tipsy, and it was only for an hour, so I wouldn't call that drunk. And besides that, I've ate shrooms twice. Didn't fully trip out balls because the first time I ate shrooms, I ate uh, only two grams. Got sick, threw up, so then the second time I tried it, only ate 1.5 grams because I wanted to see if I would maybe not throw up, and I still threw up, so shrooms is not my thing. Um, it's common to make a lot of people sick and throw up because it is a fungus. But those are the only other drugs I've tried. Shrooms uh, aren't my thing. Didn't have a bad trip, like I said, it just upset my stomach, made me feel sick. So I couldn't really enjoy myself. But, all right. Next question, what's the fattest bong rip you've ever taken? And that was asked by underscore Bennett underscore 18. So the fattest bong rip I've ever taken, I believe was like a 0.7, somewhere around there. But it was labeled as a half gram bong rip. If you go, I don't remember which number it was, but if you go to my half gram bong rips, I remember it was when I was in my other room, so the wall should be blue. I was sitting at my desk and I was wearing sunglasses in the video, which I normally don't ever wear sunglasses. I think I was, I remember I was wearing them because it was like, I was filming it in the summer. It was like 4 a.m. and uh, I had my lights all bright up and you know, sunglasses was helping with the light. But anyways, I don't even know why I'm talking about that. But that's the video with the fattest bong rip I've ever taken. And it was caught on camera, obviously. Um, next question is from Dirt.Cobain. And he said, for Q&A, Suicide Boys or Devilish Trio? All the way Devilish Trio. Not even really a question. Um... Suicide Boys are cool and everything, not hating on them, but if you compare them to the trio, it's just no comparison. Um, 
Next question. Let's see here. Q and A. From Lone Phantom or Fanta Fanta ZM, if that's how you say it. All right. What made you start listening to more of old school influenced underground music? <coughs> so actually, kind of my brother and like the uh, music we were listening to. So if I go all the way back, like my freshman year, around sophomore, freshman and sophomore year, that's when I really started getting into it. I remember my brother would always be bumping like, uh, actually, we were bumping together. We kind of like found it together on SoundCloud, but I remember he was the one who kind of showed me SoundCloud, if that makes sense. But we found like Suicide Boys, Ghost Main around that time. And then um, even before that, I remember my brother was always listening to like um, Evil Pimp and fucking Tommy Wright. So kind of put me on that. And uh, since the, obviously the sound is kind of similar and they use a lot of those samples, I really like like Suicide Boys and Ghost Main, and those were like one of the first underground rappers that I found. Like I, when I found Suicide Boys, they were probably around like 7,000, 8,000 followers, and like I still like them, like I said, but I just think their old shit's a lot better compared to now. I don't, I wouldn't say they've like completely fallen off. I just, in preference, like their older stuff. But yeah, so my brother was always listening to that shit. It kind of put me on it. Uh, my older brother. He's about two years older than me. And then we both kind of found Suicide Boys and I'm gonna say Puya. I found Puya after Ghost Man, but um, found Ghost Man and Suicide Boys around the same time. Same with Curry. Can't forget Curry. Anyways. This tastes pretty good. I didn't even say what I was smoking in here. I, what, what did I roll up in this? Had to be two different strains. It was the Triangle Kush, and then some fucking Gelato 33, man. I, like I said, I rolled this up like 12 hours ago. I had to, I was like, what, what did I roll on this? But Next question. Psychedelic Ronic. I think that's what it says, yeah. Psychedelic Ronic. All right. Q&A. How is it being so involved in the WeTube 420 community? Or are you planning to make a profession from it? So, it's something that I want to continue to do. I, I'm not going to be able to tell the future how long I'm going to be doing. I don't plan on quitting anytime soon, but um, that's for as far as how long I'm doing it. And then it's making it a profession. I think I don't want it to be my main source of income. I kind of want it to be on the side, if that makes sense. And then, how is it being involved in the 420 community? It's pretty dope. Like, I, I started watching WeTube when I was like 15, 16, and then... Eventually, I started making my own videos later on the road, and here we are today. It's pretty cool. I like going to events, and I like, uh, I've only done one meetup, but getting recognized in person and all sorts of cool things, like in events and shit like that, it's just tight. Um, your all-time favorite rapper artist, and that was from Evan MB for the Q&A. So my all-time favorite artist would have to be Devilish Trio. That's Baker, Hydramane, and Ten Gauge. Man, they kill it. If you don't listen to them or if you don't know who they are, you definitely gotta go check them out. They fucking kill it. Search them up on YouTube, SoundCloud. Um, I play a lot of their music and like all pretty much not all my videos because there's not enough music to play in like every video. But I definitely put them in like a lot of mine. If I only played their music in my videos, I'd be playing the same songs over and over because it's not like they have a ton of shit out but they have a good amount if that makes sense you know i do post quite a bit of videos i think i have over like 300 something anyways um let's look for another question i screenshot it when was the first all right gotta say who asked it before i say the question none underscore of None underscore of underscore you underscore and or understand. A lot of goddamn underscores, man. Q&A. When was your first smoke sesh and what happened? My first smoke sesh, I actually have a live story on that. My, it was with Brando. Um, to break it down for you, I smoked a half of a grape swisher sweet. I didn't get high because I couldn't smoke it. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. I just remember coughing. But then when I actually did get high for the first time, that was a whole different story. I smoked a waterfall bong, and that shit was wild. 
highest I've ever been probably in my life to this day. Um, let's see. Next question. Oh, it's from and it's from the same person, man. You got I didn't even realize I screenshotted your thing twice. None of you understand with all the underscores. All right, so his question, another question. And this was unintentional, but ever vomited while smoking? Yes. That has happened to me. So I haven't vomited directly from ever, from feeling too high. Like I've never smoked, got too high and thrown up, but I've taken like a bong rip where it got too stale or it was just too harsh or whatever the case. And I coughed so hard that I kind of spit up and threw up. That has happened, but I've, like I said, I've never been too high where I've thrown up, you know? Actually, no, that has happened to me before, but it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was because of the weed. It was when I smoked a backwood to the face and, uh, I didn't put enough weed in it, and for all you guys who know about the backwoods, they got a lot of nicotine. I don't have a nicotine tolerance. My head was spinning. I threw up. So it has to do with the nicotine, not even the weed. But yeah, other than that, it was just long rips and coughing too hard. Um, Q and A. How from Smooth Cruzito five hundred five? How did you convince your parents to let you smoke weed? It wasn't really a lot of convincing. I didn't start smoking until I was 16 and I didn't, I wasn't like, like putting, I kind of, I wouldn't say I hit it, but I just wasn't like blatant with it, you know, and I didn't, it wasn't something that brought me down in a way so they would, I don't know how to explain it. Best way to put it is it wasn't negative affecting me, so there's no reason I shouldn't. If that makes sense, you know, everyone's parents are different. But then again, you know, I wasn't super blatant with it. Like, I wasn't fucking smoking, like, around the house and shit, making the house stink. I was kind of sneaky when I first started out. Next question, I think there's, like, a couple more. Actually, this might be... Yeah, this is actually the last question. Here we go. Last question. Connor Scott Short. Q&A. Will you travel anywhere soon? If, where, to... I'm actually taking a trip here this week. There's two trips, one of them is maybe, and then the second one is for surely. So Friday on April 14th, I'm gonna be going to Portland. I'm gonna be chilling with Marijuana Mermaid. That's what's up. I can't wait to go out there. And then um, I have this whole week, Monday to Friday. What I really wanna do is go to San Diego and hang out with the homie Chad, uh, AKA Tombs. I did a video with him when I went to California, but he lives in San Diego. Um, if me and Happy Dabber can make it out there, we're gonna be staying with him for a couple days. Um, that's a maybe, not 100% sure, but if I can go out there, there'll be some videos in California. More vlog footage, I've been kind of slacking on that. I haven't been really like doing a lot that I think is worthy for vlog footage. I think once more interesting, interesting things starts happening and I start doing more shit, vlogs will come. Um, but yeah, so for the trips, 100% Portland, maybe California, really hoping for it within these next few days. Uh, just got to figure a couple things out, but that looks like it's it for the Q&A. Um, if you guys stay till this end, I really appreciate it. Or stay till the end. I said stay till this end. You know what I mean. And I actually rolled this up with a filter tip. I don't know if you could see it, but uh, you can see it. So it's probably ending just at the right time. I'm about done with this. I feel the nicotine high, just not too much. Just kind of perfect. And also, didn't no one asked me this, but I just got me thinking. Favorite blunt wraps for all you guys wondering. I really like Fronto leaves, those are my favorite. And then Dutch Masters. Frontos and Dutches. Even though no one asked me that. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you stayed till this point, really appreciate it. Um, I tried to pick out all the more interesting questions. I'll be doing another Q&A, probably not too, song with, not too long within the next few months or so, but. All right, guys. OG out. Peace.